Hello everybody, happy Friday, happy Easter weekend, and welcome to another Come Dine With Us. This evening's is a really exciting one because this is the final in this series. So in case you're new to this, myself, Kate McCabe and Luke Catlow, my good friends and YouTube buddies, have got together to have a social distancing dinner party where we each take it in turns to make the starter, the main course or the dessert. So we kicked things off a couple of weeks ago and today is the third week of doing this. So we've rotated all the dishes and today I'm going to be making the starter. Kate's on the main course, let's find out what that's going to be. Hello, I'm Kate and I'm going to be making the main course in tonight's dinner party. I'm going to be cooking a curry pie, nearly forgot then, curry pie with some tender stem broccoli. And Luke's doing the dessert, he's very good at baking. Luke, what are you making? Hi guys, my name is Luke and I am in charge of dessert this evening, so I'm going to be making a delicious Italian lemon meringue pie followed by an espresso martini. Both of those sound very delicious indeed. So for the starter, I'm going to be doing some baked garlicky mushrooms. It's a really simple five ingredient Jamie Oliver recipe. And we'll have a little cheeky cocktail as well. It is Friday after all. Before we get into this, if you missed the first two episodes, I'll link them down in the description box below. And once you've watched all three of our videos, so after mine, do head over to Kate's channel for your main and then to Luke's for the dessert. It's over to you to choose the winner. So in the description box, you will find a link to the vote where you can either vote myself, Kate or Luke as the winner of Come Dine With Us. Before we get into this, if you've popped over from Kate or Luke's channel, hello, it's great to see you here. Do give the video a little thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe if you're new. Right, I suppose we better get on with this. So the recipe I'm following today is this one. It's baked garlicky mushrooms. Looks delicious. And I'll link this in the description box for you. And for this recipe, we're going to need four flat mushrooms. Portobello mushrooms is perfect. I got these in the clearance section. Bonus points that these were only 78p. You'll need four cloves of garlic, half a bunch of fresh sage or 15 grams. I could only find thyme, so I'm going to use that instead. And then you want to get some nice ripe cherry tomatoes. The recipe says to use mixed colored. I've gone for baby plum tomatoes and I've got a few left over here that need using up as well. So 350 grams of those, and then 40 grams of cheddar cheese. So the recipe is a five ingredient recipe, but I thought we would add a sixth one. It is Friday. Cheers, everyone. So first things first, we're going to peel and slice four cloves of garlic. I've been reading all of your really helpful tips in the comments and someone told me to use the back of the knife to help to peel this so that's what I'm doing now just pushing down on the garlic that is much easier to get the peel off thank you very much for the suggestion there whoever left me that one that is fab and then we're going to chop that nice and finely up it says to pick the sage leaves so I'm just gonna grab some of the thyme give that a quick rinse to make sure that's ready and half the cherry tomatoes and then we're going to peel the mushrooms keeping the peel I'm going to preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit, gas mark 6. And then we're going to add everything into the pan. So we have the peel, the tomatoes, and then you want to keep a few nice slices of garlic. So choose the really nice ones that we're going to use a little bit later. Throw in all the rest. And we're going to save the herbs for later, so we'll put those to one side as well. Then we're going to just drizzle over about a tablespoon of olive oil 
And you can add some red wine vinegar as well, but I don't have any in, unfortunately. I'm gonna go in with some pepper and a nice pinch of salt. And then just toss that around a little bit, make sure that that olive oil is nicely coated everywhere. So we're gonna pop that into the oven for 10 minutes. So while that's doing its thing and cooking for 10 minutes, I thought we would lay the table. And as it's Easter weekend, let's go for an Easter theme. So let's bring back some old DIYs. So starting off, I've got these daffodils, which I've placed into a big glass vase that I got from the car boot sale. And I've actually added this bouquet from the wedding section of Poundland, just to bulk them out a bit. And then I'm going to go in with some of these polystyrene eggs that I also picked up from Poundland and did a little DIY on last year. So as you can see, they've got this kind of speckled design going on. So I'm just gonna dot those in amongst this just to make it a little bit more Eastery. Hopefully the bunny will be visiting you. Let me know if you get any Easter eggs and also let me know what your favorite Easter egg is. These are going in really nicely, just dotting them around in between all of the daffodils. These were so easy to make. I just simply attached them onto some of these wooden skewers and then dipped them in some chalk paint and then did some uh, speckles with a paintbrush and some copper paint. And there we go. I also have for the table this Easter wreath. I think this was from Home Bargains, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to pop that in the middle of the table, along with these guys. So these were, I think, a present from my mum. These are hand-knitted little Easter chicks. So I thought what we'd do, they normally sit on an egg, but I haven't got any eggs in at the moment. So let's sit them on one of the eggs on the wreath, just as a nice little touch there and there. So they're doing their thing. They need names, what should we call them? I reckon we've got Luke and Kate right there. And these are also a DIY from last year. These are a garland that I just did with some strings, some mini clothes pegs, and some paper. And I just cut out the egg shape. So I thought we would just drape that across the middle of the table. And we'll just light a candle to pop in the middle of our centerpiece. And there we go. And for your welcome cocktail, I'm going to be using these syrups. So these are from a company called Monin, or Monin, and these were a Christmas present from Luke. So thank you, Luke, for these. I'm gonna crack them out this evening. And you can choose whatever flavor you like, guys. What do you fancy? We've got strawberry here, we've got passion fruit, we've got mint, we've got all sorts, coconut. I think we'll go for the passion fruit, I'm feeling that. So we'll just add a little splash of that. Top up with Prosecco. Cheers, everybody. Happy Friday. Ooh, that's the mushrooms. Ooh -wee. Yum. So now they've had 10 minutes, I'm going to crumble over the cheddar. Then into each one, go in with some of the lovely garlic. So it's about four slices on each. And then I'm going to add some herbs. So then we're gonna pop that back in the oven for another 15 minutes. So while that's doing its thing, it's time for me to go and get changed into something more appropriate. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. Blessing me every day. Hello? 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 Hello, Carrington. Hello, Denise. Denise? Who is this? It's you. Oh, I thought I was sounding Denise. Hey, don't you breathe a word of that. That stays between you and me, or I like that. Your secret's safe with me, Uncle Carrington. Boy, boy, Bye, Uncle boy, Carrington. Boy. Who's Denise, eh? Uncle Carrington, you naughty sausage. You cut me loose and set me free. You make me win in every way. You showed me how to spread my wings. And I thought we'd kick things off out on the roof garden with our welcome drink. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Lovely evening for it. And 
here they are after another 15 minutes these are looking fab all the cheese has melted the garlic's gone nice and crispy on the top and those tomatoes look delicious there we go dinner is served enjoy your starters it's time for the taste test thank you for joining me for dinner i hope you enjoy your starters so i'm going to go in with the mushroom first mm. oh that's really good the cheese is fab the salt and the cheese really sets off the mushroom really nicely and the garlic flavors are coming through not too strong but there's definitely a good whack of the garlic in there i'm going to go in with a piece of garlic now and one of our cherry tomatoes what i love as well is the way that the peeled parts of the mushroom have gone really nice and crispy just to give it that extra little texture i'm impressed the only thing i might do differently is to grate the cheddar i feel like crumbling it left it a little bit lumpy but other than that mm, absolutely delicious another little idea you could do with this is maybe add some breadcrumbs to it as well i'd be tempted to maybe throw in a few breadcrumbs in amongst the cheddar and grate the cheddar and that would give it like a really nice crispy topping with the garlic but yeah fab recipe highly recommend that really easy to do i feel like i pretty much didn't mess this one up this week so i feel like maybe my cooking skills are improving slightly so let me know in the comments down below what you thought of my starter and if you'll be trying it out yourself. Now it's time for us to say goodbye because you can head over now to Kate's channel where she is going to be doing your main. And then once you've had that with Kate, don't forget to head over to Luke's as well where he has dessert waiting for you. And make sure you subscribe to both of them when you do head over there, that would be fab. So if you enjoyed this video, do give it a little thumbs up. As I said at the start of this video, this is the last in the series series of Come Dine With Us. So it's now over to you to choose your winner. So once you've watched all three from today, you can judge it based on the entire series to choose your winner of Come Dine With Us. The link to vote is in the description box down below. So you just need to click through that and vote. You don't need to register, you don't need to be subscribed or anything. So do make sure you get your vote in for whoever you want to be the winner. And let us know if you'd like us to bring this back. Let's see if we can get to 1000 thumbs up and then I reckon we could bring this back. What do we reckon? Can we get there? Give the video a cheeky thumbs up. Do subscribe if you're new here. If we get to 1,000 thumbs up, we will be bringing Come and Dine With Us back. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Enjoy the Easter weekend ahead of you. I hope you're doing something nice if you've got some free time this weekend. Those of you that are working across the weekend, thank you so much for working so hard and keeping us safe. That's it for this one. I will catch you all very soon. I'll be back with another video on Sunday morning. We're doing a speed clean of the entire house. So hopefully you'll be able to join me for that. But yeah, enjoy the rest of Come Dine With Us. Thank you so much for watching this series. It's been so much fun and I will see you very soon. Don't forget to vote. Bye.